this video, I want to go over a topic that's kind of come up because I've kind of mentioned it a little bit in my last couple of videos. Um, there's a lot of people who have a, are kind of questioning what is the biker code. Um, like I said in my other videos, the biker code is not exactly, it, it's not a real document. It's more of a philosophy or more of a kind of a uh, code of ethics for the most part for what someone who follows these particular set of guidelines would be considered a biker. Um, I, I don't really know how to explain it better than that. Um, it, it's, a, it's, it's more of a philosophy uh, as opposed to an actual document that states any set of rules and regulations. It's, it's more of a set of guidelines that we that, that a biker goes by. Um, if, if you look it up, you can usually find uh, different places that have their version of the biker code. Um, for the most part, most of them are pretty close. Uh, they have they'll have minor variations for the most part, but overall, usually, what you'll find is that they pretty much cover the same subjects. So I'm, I'm going to kind of go over what the general idea of the biker code is in this video and then kind of elaborate on it a little bit when I'm done. Um, there's certain particular items that are in almost every biker code, every uh, biker, every individual representation of the biker code, I guess I should say. Um, the, the basic philosophy behind it is all the same. Um, the, one of the first and most probably the most prominent thing is that uh, basically the idea that you don't take any shit. Um, basically that just means that if anybody gives you a hard time, you're willing to defend yourself and stand up for yourself and uh, basically defend your rights. Uh, that kind of carries over in more just as well into like friends and family, that kind of thing. Um, basically, it's just a matter of defense. Uh, basically, be willing to defend yourself, what you believe in, and that kind of thing. That's that's why that's pretty much one of the first things you'll notice in, in just about every biker biker code is the is one of the first things they'll mention is that a biker doesn't take any shit. Um, but that doesn't mean that they have to be an ass. Uh, not taking any shit isn't the same thing as as starting trouble. That just means if somebody else starts trouble, you're willing to stand up against it. That's kind of how that works. Uh, because a lot of them will include, as part of the don't take any shit, a lot of them will include things like, uh, but you have to be kind to people. Uh, things like that. Uh, basically, you don't want to be a jackass, but you, you, you want to you want to let everybody know that you're confident and uh, if they do start trouble you're willing to defend yourself that kind of thing it's it's more of a personality that you have to adopt um, another part of the biker code is that you're not you're, you're not supposed to lie you're not supposed to cheat you're not supposed to steal uh, basically you're just not supposed to be dishonest um, another th another part of the biker code is you're not supposed to snitch uh, you're not supposed to be a tattletale. Um, that kind of goes back to to the don't take any shit part. You're supposed to be confident enough to, if you see something, if someone doing something wrong, you're supposed to be confident enough and basically call them on it. If they're doing something that they shouldn't be doing, you're supposed to call them on it, um, as opposed to running off and tattletailing and telling somebody else because you don't have the confidence or the fortitude to handle it yourself. Um, that's kind of how that works. That's why it's you're not supposed to snitch. Another thing is you're not supposed to whine uh, uh, or complain and things like that. Uh, basically, the reason for that is because is nobody really respects a whiner. Uh, basically, you're supposed to stand your ground, so you're not supposed to whine about something. If, if you don't like something, 
you should take the initiative to change it yourself as opposed to just complaining about it. Uh, the, the, the idea is, is to be a decent human being. Um, and again, that's when it comes down to being a, a biker, you have to be a decent human being before you can be a biker. Uh, basically, a biker is just a decent human being that has a devotion to their motorcycle and the lifestyle of living on the road. That's kind of how that works, and that's why the biker code is very... The biker code is basically written as a, as a form of lifestyle that you're trying to accomplish. Um, you're not only supposed to not whine, but you're, not, you're supposed to help other people. Like I said, uh, you don't lie, cheat, or steal. You're supposed to be uh, uh, basically courteous. It's obvious. Obviously, you're supposed to be courteous to individuals. Um, now, courteous and respect is kind of two different things. Uh, courteous is voluntary. is a voluntary thing that you don't really get any, any return from. Um, an example of being courteous is if you open the door for somebody, that's being courteous. That's not necessarily respect. Respect requires another, is a, is a higher level of being courteous because respect actually requires that you know somebody and that they return the courtesy that you provide them in, in kind. Basically, that's, a, that's respect is it, respect is more of a two-way road as opposed to courtesy just being a one-way road. Um, that's kind of the difference between those two things. So helping others is more of courtesy. You're, you're trying to be courteous in that respect, in that, in that manner, because you're not expecting anything in return. That's a kind of a courtesy. So that's kind of what helping others is all about. Um, um, stick to your guns is another part of it. Basically, is what a lot of them talk about when it comes to the biker code, and again, that goes back down to basically you're supposed to be an independent, self-contained individual. You have you have to know who you are, what you believe in, and you have to be willing to stand up for that. Um, and again, that doesn't mean you have to be a, a jackass or a dick just because you are confident. There's a big difference between being confident and being egotistical. Um, you don't want to be egotistical because then you're just being an ass. But you do want to be confident because you know who you are, you know what you believe in, and you're willing to defend it. That's kind of how that comes down and wrapped up in a nutshell. These kind of conversations are really hard to have because it, it's a philosophy, it's a, it's a way of life. It's a manner of behaving, so there's a lot of lot more involved than just the static discussion of it. It's a, it's a feeling, it's a sensation, it's the way you want to live your life, and it's a, it's, it's a sense of accomplishment when you actually achieve that. So there's more, there's a lot more to it than what can be said, which is why the biker code isn't actually a written document that everybody goes by. It's not a, a it's not a static set of rules and regulations. It's more of a set of guidelines and understanding of how you're supposed to live your life. Um, that's basically the and the final idea behind the biker code is is that uh, this is life. This is what you have, and you have to make the most of it. Um, it it's not this. We're 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 here for a certain amount of time, so ex absorb as much as you can while you're here. Um, that's kind of why. That's kind of where the biker code tries to dis, to to establish that you're a strong, independent person. That you want to go out and you want to discover new things and that kind of thing. And that's why in my in my video when I talked about what is a biker, you'll you'll see a lot of similarities of what I've described in that first video of what I consider a biker. A, a lot of that is basically the understanding of the biker code. The biker code just tells us that what type of personality we're supposed to be trying to accomplish in our lives. We're supposed to be good people. We're supposed to be strong, independent, 
um, were supposed to be uh, 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 ag aggressive in the fact that we're supposed to be looking to accomplish as much as we can in life, but not aggressive in the fact that we're not supposed to be trying to violate other individuals' ability to accomplish what they want. Um, so that's that's kind of how the whole thing rolls out is the biker code. Um, any, any if you try to look up the biker code, they're all all of them are going to pretty much revolve around the same principles that I just discussed. Um, just like I said, my video pretty much revolves around the same principles that I just discussed that you're always going to see in the biker code. So that's kind of what the biker code is. It's, it's a kind of a set of stand, a, a, a suggested set of standards for a certain type of lifestyle and personality. That's kind of what the biker code uh, is intended to be. That's the best description I can give you of the biker code. Again, the only thing I could say is look at the other video where I try to describe what I see as a biker. And as I said in that video, it's a very opinionated subject. So every individual is going to have a different way of looking at it. The biker code is not a static set of rules and regulations. It's more of a philosophy. So any, what, anybody you ask about what the biker code is, is going to give you a slight variations on that answer because the idea is, is that you're supposed to be a strong, independent individual that has honor and integrity. That's kind of the idea. But basically you just have, you've devoted yourself to a lifestyle of living on the road and you've accepted your motorcycle as your most valued companion. That's kind of what evolves you into a biker as a decent individual that has a certain dedication to motorcycle, his motorcycle, his or her motorcycle, and the and a life on the road. But that's the best I can do is to describe the biker code. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them right here and I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. But uh, thanks for watching the videos and uh, until next time, live free, ride free, and keep your knees in the breeze.